Anza Rama Brianna and I welcome you to my new YouTube channel. Um, I am 23 years of age and I am from Yimbobo. Um, I'm currently staying in Auckland Park. I'm a master's student at the University of Johannesburg. I am studying biochemistry. Um, I grew up in a place called Tinjerere, uh, specifically a village called Chigumi. Like, yeah, that's where we grew up. So, in this um, YouTube channel, what we're going to be doing, we will be doing a bit of everything. Um, we are going to vlog on some days and we're going to do a little bit of lifestyle. I'm going to include you in my daily routines. And we are going to do a little bit of food uh, videos. I'm a big foodie. I love food. I love to cook. So, I'm going to take you on that journey as well. And we're going to do a lot of these sit-down videos where I ask you guys to come up with a topic that we can talk and interact with each other. So comment right below what you want me to talk about in some of the next videos. And you can also help me with ideas down below. Um, so let's get into today's video. It's a get to know me tag. So I asked a couple of people to ask me questions. I put it up on my Instagram and on my WhatsApp as well. Um, so the first question is why biochemistry? Um, so the reason why I chose biochemistry, I would say, no, let me say it chose me actually, because um, my first choice was to go study medicine, um, but my mom's guys, hey, they didn't allow me to, so I ended up choosing a field that is like life science based, because um, I was really good in life science studies, and that was biochem. So I came to UJ first year, did it, um, it was good. Second year, third year, and then I started really falling in love with it in my honors year, where I got to do my own research. And yeah, I can say biochem chose me. I fell in love with it, I'm still doing a master's in it. And I think we're not about to quit school soon. We're still gonna do a PhD in it, cause yeah, the science life has gotten good. And now the next question, what inspires you? So first of all, I need to let you know that I'm saved. I love the Lord. So I, I really genuinely believe that I can do anything, like anything through Christ who gives me strength. And nothing is impossible with this God that I serve. So um, I draw my motivation from there. Like I can conquer everything and anything that I put my heart to. And yeah, I guess that's it. So, a very interesting question. Who is your boyfriend? Well, <laughs> um, these guys are sleeping on me here. I have no boyfriend. No, but I think that's by choice right now. I'm just more like um, career focused. I want to get this master's out of the way as soon as possible. Move on to the PhD and to future career endeavors. Yeah, so that's it. So the next question, who is your crush? Um, I'm not crushing on anyone I know personally. Um, I have a celebrity crush, it's always been my crush like forever. Um, it's Trevor Noah, like you should come back to SA and marry me. We can do this Trevor, like, we can do this. Um, I love him so much. I watch too much of the daily show, that's why I love him. And he just has that way of handling himself, you know. Even though he's making jokes, he addresses uh, politically relevant issues so well. And yeah. And then the next question, what is the worst thing you've ever done? Ish, the worst thing. I once met a guy, so <laughs> don't judge, don't judge. I once met a guy and he told me his name and guy was hot. Guy was hot. And I kissed him on the same day, and I never wanted to see him again. Yeah, so that's the worst thing I've done, literally. Um, any lifetime achievements? Um, I'd set myself goals that I would have my honors by 22. I already have that. And now I want to try and get my PhD before the age of 26. Yeah, and then probably I want to start a business before the age of 30. You will get to know about that business before uh, in later videos, I believe. And who is your role model? Guys, my role model is not far. My mom. Like that woman held it together for so long. 
um, she raises well with good manners and morals. Yeah, everything that I am is through that woman. And of course, I can't leave my dad out. Like he inspires me to study. He is he's always told me that I can do anything. Like I thought after my degree, I was just gonna leave it like that. He's like, girl, you still have three more bells to go. You can do this. So yeah. Okay, the next question is, what are your thoughts on relationships and social media? Hmm. I feel like the person who asked me this knows something. Um. Well, what I think about that is, um, I, first of all, I don't have a problem with people putting their relationships on social media. What I have a problem is using social media in an unhealthy way. Um, first of all, speaking for experience, I used to post um, pictures with my bae whenever I felt like there's a threat coming away, there's some chick, their rumors is cheating, that's when I used to do that. And that is very wrong because that is an indication that your relationship is sort of unhealthy in a way. So I would say if you're about to do that, make sure that you and your bae are in a healthy space and you can take hits from people. The moment you put your bae there, there's someone who's going to be like, hey, I just saw your, bo your, your boyfriend with smang mang doing what what. So always come from a healthy place and don't put each and every detail about your relationship post pictures on vac on vacations whatnot chilling but don't put everything like when you fight never fight on social media like that is just a gap for the devil to come play you know in your yard you're inviting the other girls to come and mess with your man or other other boys to come mess with your girl don't do that like Social media, always do it coming from a healthy place and be confident in your relationship and whatnot. And the next next question, who are your favorite South African YouTubers, guys? Number one, Mitlali. Guys, I respect that girl's hustle. That girl is out there hustling, she has brands endorsing her, she's doing makeup left, right and center and she's genuinely a good person from looking at her YouTube and her Instagram and whatnot. She is true to her hustle. I like that about her. And this mom Banza. I recently discovered this channel. Um, yo, he's good and his girlfriend Boothley. I love their relationship, you know, they're cute. And any other YouTubers, well, I watch a lot of YouTubers from abroad. Um, I like family YouTubers, uh, you Jamie and Nikki, they have cute babies, yeah, that makes my, yeah, they're good. And I watch a bit of the Ace family sometimes, and who else do I watch? Oh, and I love Joe Solomon, I recently discovered him as well, he's good. He's the guy who did the poem, um, You Are Worth the Wait, yeah, he's, he's good, check him out. And he does, um... Chase God with the souls, so yeah, those are good. And the last question, but not least, what do I do with my free time? Um, so I watch a lot of YouTube. That's why I ended up deciding to do YouTube because I'm here every day, all day watching YouTube. Um, and I go to the gym. I recently joined the gym like two months ago, so I want to be this fitness chick, you know. When I get to in shape, um, summer body goals, eh? Yeah, so that's it from me. Thank you very much for listening to me and for watching the video till the end. Please subscribe, like this video, and um, um, hit the notification bell as well. It will really end. After doing all that, please also comment below with questions on what I can do, any follow-up questions and whatnot. I really appreciate that. And bye.